Charles? Hi, Mom. What's for breakfast this morning? A triple-decker peanut butter and banana sandwich. <laughs> That's a very big sandwich. I'm very hungry. I think you're growing, Charles. Do you really think so, Dad? Mm-hmm. I sure do. You're growing a little every day. If I can reach the pickles, I'll know it's true. <laughs> Bigger. <laughs> Let's celebrate with a pickle. Okay. Pickles for mm. breakfast? Sure, Mom. This is a big day. <laughs> Here's to Charles. <laughs> I'll get that down for you, Lily. <sighs> Thank you, Charles. That was really high up. I know. Do you want to play catch with us? Okay. Charles wants to play! Good row, Lily. Catch, Yoko! <laughs> Hi, Charles. Hi, Yoko. <gasps> Sorry! <sighs> wow! Great catch, Charles. That was really good. How did you jump so high? Well, there's something different about me today. Really? Uh-huh. Do you notice anything different, Timothy? Um... You look the same to me. I'm not the same. <laughs> Is it your birthday? No! I'm bigger! How do you know? I reached the pickles without any help this morning. And you made a great catch. Maybe you are bigger. I know I had to tell for sure. Come on! You're right, Charles. There's the old line. And there's the new line. You are are bigger, Charles. <laughs> I told you. Can I try? Sure. <laughs> Lily's bigger, too. Let me try. Okay. What are you doing? Growing. Growing? We're measuring to see how big we are. <gasps> oh, measure me, too! <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. 
Jenkins. It's the same as last time. I should hope so. I'm all grown up. I have an idea. Let's make pictures of ourselves to see how we've grown. We'll start by tracing each other. Oh, sure. yeah. Everyone buddy up and get a roll of paper. Do you want to be my buddy, Lily? Okay. Find a space on the floor to roll out your paper. I'll trace you and you trace me. No, you trace me and I will trace you. <laughs> Oops. 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 Help, Charles! That's it, Lily. You lie still and I'll trace around you. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, you're making the line wiggle. <laughs> now it's your turn. Okay. Hold still. <laughs> I told you it tickles. <laughs> wow. I'm this big. That is big. Yeah. That is big. Very big. I see Timothy and Yoko. Where's your picture, Doris? Right here. It looks just like me, doesn't <laughs> it? <laughs> yeah, if you were standing on your head. Huh? Oh, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Grace. I used purple and green to match your dress. It does look like me. Well done, children. Now that you've traced your outlines, it's time to cut them out. You can color them any way you want. Yay! Look, I made eye holes. <laughs> I'm going to do that too. Oh no! Mrs. Jenkins' Frank's head came off! Don't worry, there's a quick fix. We'll tape it back on. It's Frankenstein! Yeah, it is! Thank you, Mrs. J. You're welcome, Frank. <laughs> Good job, Lily. Well done, Charles. What's that? My stomach. Hmm. What are some of the other things you've drawn here? That's my heart and my lungs. These are intestines. All my thinking goes on up here in the brain. Ew! Well done, Fritz. Thanks, Mrs. J. It's time to hang our pictures in the hallway, boys and girls. Quick sticks! Hello, Mrs. Jenkins. Hello, Yoko. Oh! Careful, Lily. <laughs> That's a lovely dress you have on, Grace. Look at all the flowers. Thank you. I see you there, Frank. Ah, uh, I told you she would know. What fun. Just look at all of you. I'm the biggest, and Nora's the smallest. Huh? Hey, I'm bigger than Charles. How did you get so big? I'm growing. You're not that big. Hey, it's supposed to touch the floor like everybody else's. <sighs> okay, I'm the smallest. Huh, you are a shrimp. Time for recess, boys and girls. Let's go outside. I don't think you're a shrimp, Charles. 
Someone who's a shrimp would only come up to here. Thanks, Doris. <sighs> What's it like to be big? I don't know. But you're the biggest in the school. There are a lot of other times when I'm the smallest. Like when? Like all the time at home. I'm the smallest in my family. Really? You're the smallest? Uh-huh. I'm even too little to drive the bumper cars at the fair. I have to watch my brothers drive past and stick their tongues out at me. They call me a shrimp. It makes me so mad. <sighs> I don't like being called a shrimp either. If I see your big brother sticking their tongues out, I'll tell them to stop it. Thanks, Charles. What do you think of that, Mr. Big Shot? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to come play at my house after school? Okay. Hi, Mom. Hello, dear. Hello, Charles. I spoke to your mom, and she's going to pick you up later. Thank you for letting me come over. Such good manners. Your big brothers could learn a thing or two from your little friend, Doris. Charles isn't little, Mom. He's just the smallest, like me. I see. Do you want to play basketball before snack time, Charles? Okay. Good shot, Big D. Thanks, Big C. It's almost the end of the game. The Giants are heading straight for Big C. He sneaks around all of them. He's good. <laughs> Over here, Big C. I'm in the open. Big C passes the ball to Big D. <laughs> can Big D and Big C beat the Giants? Sure they can. Oops. Uh-oh. Now it's up to Big C to win the game. You can do it, Big C. Shoot. Hey! <laughs> All right! <laughs> hey, no fair. We were playing. Give that back. Try and get it, you shrimp. Don't call Doris a shrimp. She's not a shrimp. She's the biggest in our class. Thanks, Charles. You're welcome, Doris. The biggest in your class. Is that so? Horace, Morris, and Boris, I have some big chores for some big boys. Aww, do we have to? What about Doris? Doris isn't big enough for your chores. Ah, uh, no fair. Aww. 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 You know, Charles, sometimes I like being a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> Mama? That is your grandfather weeding his family's garden. He doesn't look very old. He was just a young boy at the time, not much older than you. That is a picture of your grandmother on her wedding day. She's really pretty in her kimono. If you look closely, you can see something very special on her sash. What is it? It's a traditional Japanese carving called a netsuke. It looks really small. It's hard to see. Yes, it is. There's something I'd like to show you. What is it? Open it. Oh, they're beautiful. They are your grandmother's Netsuke. She called them her Netsuke family. <laughs> Look at this little girl. She's so cute. Your grandmother named her Kiko. It's the one she's wearing in the photograph. Where did Grandma get the Netsuke family? The story begins many years ago in Japan, where your grandfather was a fisherman. Every evening, after mending the fishing nets, he would spend his time carving Netsuke. He became the finest carver in the entire village. 
After he finished carving a Netsuke, he would spend many hours carefully painting it. Every one was different. Of all the Netsuke your grandfather made, there were four that he made with extra care. He kept them for someone very special. When he married your grandmother, he handed her a lovely box as a wedding gift. Inside was the Netsuke family. They were the most beautiful things she had ever seen. Several years ago, she gave them to me. Someday, I will give them to you. The Netsuke family is going to be mine? Yes, when you are older. Can I take them to school tomorrow? I want to show them to my friends. I don't know, Yoko. They are very precious. I'll take really good care of them. You must not let anyone play with them. I won't. You must keep them in the box after you have shown them to your class. I will. All right. You may take them to school. Thanks, Mama. They're the Netsuke family. Can I hold them? No. Mama said I have to be very careful with them. I can't let anybody else touch them. They must be pretty special. They're really special. My grandfather carved them. He did? Wow. You're really lucky. I know. I can't wait to show them to everyone. There are four Netsuke in the family. This is Papa. Hey, I like that one. He is the biggest. And this is Mama. Ooh, she's pretty. I like her dress. That's a kimono. Who's that? That's the little boy. Grandma named him Sachi. And the little girl is Kiko. She's my favorite. Thank you for bringing the Netscape family to share with us today, Yoko. They are certainly very special. We have something special too, don't we, Frank? Uh-huh, we have something very special. Our trucks! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the family can go for a ride. Two can ride in my truck. And two can ride in my truck. I'm sorry, they aren't allowed to ride in your trucks. We don't want the Netscape family to get broken. Can I play with them at recess? I want to play with them too. Can I too? Me too. I asked first. I know you all want to play with them, but the Netsuke family is very precious. Um, can I put them back in my cubby now, Mrs. Jenkins? Yes, Yoko. I think that would be a good idea. Mama, who are you making? I'm making Kiko. She's the littlest one. Perfect. Which one are you making? Papa, I'm all done. And I made Sachi. Wow. Can they go for a ride in our trucks? Yes, they can. All right. Papa's going to drive my truck. And Sachi is going to drive my truck. Ready, Frank? Ready, Frank! Go! <laughs> hey, I wonder where Yoko is. Maybe she's already on the bus. <gasps> oh, where are they? Quick sticks, Yoko. The bus is waiting. But Mrs. Jenkins, I can't find the Netscape family. Oh, dear. Did you look in your cubby? Uh-huh. Did you check your backpack? 
It's going to be all right, Yoko. I'll phone your mother to tell her the Netsuke family is missing. Tomorrow morning, we will all help look for them. Okay. I don't know what happened, Mama. I was really careful. I didn't drop them, and I didn't let anybody touch them. I know you were careful. After I showed everyone, I put them back in their box. And then I put them in my cubby. It is not your fault, Cherry Blossom. But what are we going to do? Mrs. Jenkins told me she would have everyone look for them tomorrow. Perhaps someone will find them. Do you really think so? Twelve sets of eyes are always better than one. I hope we find them, Mama. I think you will, Yoko. Where did you put them last? In my cubby. But when I went to take them home, they were gone. Maybe you put them somewhere else and forgot. That happens to me all the time. No. I put them in the cubby, I'm sure. Sometimes I think something's lost, and then I find it somewhere else. Maybe they fell on the floor. I looked there, too. Good morning, everyone. Today we are having a special Lost and Found Day to help Yoko search for the Netsuke family. I want you to look in your cubbies and your backpacks, and then we will look everywhere in the classroom. And hopefully one of you will find the Netsuke family. Don't worry, Yoko. Somebody will find them. Nope, nothing here. There's nothing in this one either. Or this one. Let's go look in the classroom. Hey! Here it is! Way to go, Frank! Did you find the Netscape family? No, I found the steering wheel hey. from Frank's truck. Oh. But we will keep looking, won't we, Frank? Uh-huh. We will keep looking. Go, Franks, go! <laughs> <laughs> Is this your mitten, Nora? Thanks, Timothy. You're welcome. Look what I found, Lily. <gasps> it's my lunchbox. I mean, one of my lunchboxes. <laughs> Charles found my Nora scarf. Found my magnifying Timothy glass. Timothy found my other mitten. I found the door off Frank's truck. And I found the steering wheel off Frank's truck. But nobody found the Netsuke family. Maybe somebody took them home by accident. Wouldn't they just bring them back? Maybe somebody took them home on purpose. What? Wow. Well, if someone did take them, the important thing is to see that Yoko is very hurt and bring them back. And hopefully they'll never do it again. Yoko, I thought a glass of milk might help you go to sleep. Thanks, but I'm not very thirsty. I wish I never took the Netsuke family to school, Mama. I know, but maybe someone will find them tomorrow. But we looked everywhere today. Mama, do you think someone took them? Perhaps. If they did, I hope they bring them back. I do too. Good night, Mama. Good night, my little cherry blossom. I hope someone finds them. Why 
Yogo? The Netscape family! They're back! Papa, Mama, Sachi, Kiko, they're all here! Oh, there's something else in here too. What is it? A candy heart. It says, sorry. I wonder who put them back. I don't know. I'm just so glad they did. <laughs>